Wow. Half, a Somebody, half a point? Woo. Half a point. Somebody drove up a ticket. What is a half a point? It's a hook, man. It's just what the computers come on. Yeah, right? You can't score half a point. But I mean, you, you can, can lose money right on now. There. You can lose money on that hook. Oh, we call it the hook of death, man. And somebody out there is having a rough Saturday night. And the Warriors down to 16 27 2 against the spread in this last 45 games on the road. For more information on that, check out NBCSportsEdge.com. Now let's hear from Draymond Green. He's at the podium out in, out in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, I felt pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, we just made some mistakes down the stretch that we can't have. Um, I, I wasn't quite paying attention to what the big guys look tired or not, so I can't really say if we were or weren't, but I, I know I felt pretty good. Are these mistakes that concern you at all? Or, I mean, considering who you guys are, <clears throat> um, no, not quite. So I think it's just communication issues, uh, and, and that's something I know we're capable of correcting. So it's not quite something that I'm overly concerned about, but we can't keep talking about we need to do it either. So uh, six games in, not going to overreact. But we also got to build good habits. And um, at times we're doing that, and at times we're not. So we just need to be more consistent with it. Just kind of following up on that in terms of, I don't want to say timeline, but for lack of a better word, so six games in, it's still early in the season. When does it become not early in the season, though, where maybe it's not just communication, but other issues? It's, it's not early anymore, and we do have to figure this out. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, there's like, Game number X. Uh, I don't. I don't quite know if it comes down like that, but I think we we'll all, you know, we we'll all have a sense of it. And saying that, um, we're sitting here in Game Six, and I personally feel like it's too long. Uh, you know, because, like I said, you want to build good habits, and so um, I don't think anybody's going to be willing to wait much longer and say, "All right, we'll get there." Like, no, we're, we we know what it takes to win a championship. We know the the habits that has to be built um, in order to compete for a championship. And so we, hopefully sooner rather than later. Trey, what did you see in those James Wiseman matches? <clears throat> oh, man. I don't think he played much in the second half, did he? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I feel like an etern eternity ago. <laughs> I have to go back and watch. I usually can remember every play during the game, um, but that feels like it was a year ago. So I'm gonna have to go back and watch the film on that one. I did think uh, I do remember one specific play, uh, you know, where we were talking about his positioning on the defensive end, and you know that's something that I'm going to stay on him about because I think if he can figure that out, he's going to be elite. So uh, for me. That's kind of what I'm watching with him. It's just his defensive positioning. And <clears throat> I thought um, <clears throat> there were a couple times where he was better, and I thought there were a couple times where he can improve. So for me, that's kind of what I want to take up on myself is just to help him improve that. So that's kind of all I was really watching. Your, your, your two biggest runs tonight were small pool in the game. You're at five. Uh, a lot of it was pick and roll to you. you know, how, how much? Are you, or what are you seeing with that lineup overall? What does that do for you offensively when it is those four out of the Um I mean, offensively, uh, you know, it really puts me in a position to do what I do best, which is playmate. Um, you know, if I'm, you know, if me and Steph are in action and that's, you know, surrounded with Clay, uh, JP, and Wiggs, uh, all three guys can shoot the ball uh, very well, extremely well. Uh, Wigs more so than JP and, and Clay cutting uh, on that backside, you know. So I, I really like it. Um, you know, for me, it's, a, it's playmakers heaven uh, where you got guys like that that can score the ball and you're just able to find them. Uh, but <clears throat> you know that def that that uh, lineup does pose its challenges as well. You know, and so I think you know for for that lineup to be great, I have to rebound better. Um, <clears throat> And 
is going to require our guards and, and wings to rebound as well. Steph has been doing an incredible job rebounding. Um, Wiggs has been doing a really good job rebounding. So we just got to keep taking that up a couple notches for that lineup to succeed. Jeremy, I know you said that you felt like you still had stuff left in the tank at the end of the game, um, but it is the first back-to-back. -back. Do you anticipate your play? I know it's uh, yeah, I, I do anticipate it. Um, <clears throat> you know, that's it's my plan. Quite frankly, you know, I've said it before. I'm not going to really fight uh, with our group. Um, try to listen to them as they know what's best. But my plan is to play. Oh, all right, Draymond Green planning to play in his hometown, in Detroit, of course. He grew yeah, we had uh, some really poor defensive. Uh, possessions, uh, not communicating on switches, gave up a couple layups, and uh, and just didn't didn't have much left in the tank um, offensively. So, I give credit to uh, to Charlotte. I thought they did a great job coming back in that final minute. You know, we we had to close the game there, and we just couldn't get it done. And uh, and they were uh, the the aggressor in overtime. What about from earlier in the game to kind of get to the point where? So what about from earlier in the game? Like, how did you feel you guys started? Uh, well, it's a very slow start, obviously, down 12 at half. Um, you know, these games are always difficult when you fly across the country, and it, it takes a little while to get, get your bearings. And I thought we got our bearings in the third quarter. Our guys really fought and competed and um, did a great job of uh, – Seizing control of the game, and uh, but too many mistakes, um, particularly uh, defensively with our communication, and so that's what we've got to clean up. I know it's just a couple minutes after the game now, but Jordan looked like he made tweaked his ankle, limped off the court. Have you gotten a chance to? No. Check? Very high minute totals tonight, especially with LT. I mean, you may have planned to rest guys tomorrow, anyways. So but does that? You know, yeah, I'm going to talk to the performance staff. Um, Right now, and we'll see how it affects tomorrow. Uh, I know you lost, but what do you think? Of, I mean, Draymond kind of dragged you guys to OT in a lot of ways. Yeah. What, not even just that sequence, but what do you think about what he's doing overall? Really Draymond's been playing great. Um, he's, you know, he's the best defensive player in the world, um, and offensively, uh, particularly when we go small, he causes all kinds of havoc in the pick and roll game. And uh, you saw that down the stretch. He and Steph. Connected. He and Jordan connected a couple of times. Um, we just, you know, we just needed one more bucket uh, down the stretch, and we we couldn't get it. Talked about defense and the like, just miscommunication or not enough communicating on defense. I mean, at this point, is it just is it on the guys to do that, or like, how do you get them? It's on us. It's on us as a staff. It's on the players. Uh, it's on our group. Uh, this is our team. So. Um, We've, we've got to work on it in practice, and we've got to trust each other in games. Steph was, I think, 4-8 at halftime, a much more active uh, second half. What was, what was different about him that you saw? Well, we played uh, a small lineup for much of the second half. Um, you know, they were doing a great job of clogging the paint. Um, uh, for the first half and the first few minutes of the third quarter. So we went to a smaller lineup and spread them out, and that gave Steph some more room to, uh, to operate. Very slim silver lining here. What would you like about the tie girl against Ty? Uh, Ty was great. You know, um, what I like about Ty is, you know, we talk about .5 basketball all the time. The ball has to move. Um, it can't be catch and hold and, um, you know, penetrate. Uh, kick it and swing it and you're going to have wide open shots and he got us open shots immediately when he went out there and uh, the, the game started to flow and then of course he knocked down a few shots himself too so he gave us good minutes. You talked about the sluggish start to the game it seemed like in the third even like Steph was more active like saying he had got on layup and did some gesture I mean do you, do you feel like he might have done that just so to try to get the other guys like energized or anything or is that just like there was a yeah, I mean, uh, the third quarter, we, we definitely um, found something uh, motivationally, um, finally got some traction in the game, and uh, Steph and Draymond really led the charge. Um, Jordan picked it up, and, you know, with a, there, was, there was emotion there because we were finally uh, playing our game. In the final minute. Uh... Weeks.
All right, that was Steve Kern. He said he'll talk to the performance staff tonight on the plan for tomorrow against Detroit. Of course, the starters played heavy minutes. Wiggins 41, Curry 39, and Poole 37. We'll have more reaction coming up, plus a Draymond Green breakdown coming up on Warriors Post Game Live.